Okay guys, I'm working on the retractable gear door uh, for the front of my Cozy and basically I'm just going to run through the steps of what I've done. Retrofitting a uh, an existing uh, project. I basically bought this canard I'm sorry, this fuselage and all of the uh, wheel well and everything was already installed. So what I had to do was I marked the outline of my gear doors that I wanted. I then used my uh, reciprocating little saw here, cut that out. I then uh, made a ledge right here for the hinges to, to, to sit and I glassed that as well as the uh, areas right in here. Mm. So basically uh, what I'm going to do today is, this is now dried, I actually did this yesterday. I'll zip this off with my uh, little reciprocating saw here. made a template of the opening on my uh, front nose gear. This template perfectly fits that opening. I cut it out and this is basically cardboard. Uh, put it on a flat surface which is my work table here. Which is I then laid up four layers of bi-directional and you can see here I've put foam where the tire will sit. My tire actually rests above the, um, the bottom line of the of the uh, fuselage so I'm just, I left me a little room, a little extra room there for my tire as well as for the um, mechanism uh, that connects to the tire. Just just give me a little bit extra room there and it'll still be, should still look pretty attractive. So the whole purpose in making the template is so that after I lay this fiberglass up, which I did last night and it's already dry, is uh, it gives me a really good pattern. All I gotta do is cut that out should easily come off of there because there's some uh, release tape under here and then that should pretty much fit the opening we'll see I know I'll have to do a little bit of sanding but it won't be much and then I'll install my hinges okay I have these uh, edges trimmed up so all I gotta do now is just kinda hand sand that make it nice <clears throat> whenever I laid this up I laid this up at an angle right here where the hinges will be and that should make that a lot stronger. Got several plies of bi-directional in there so the hinges will attach right there. In addition when I laid this up uh, I put some hard points in here uh, with flocks and those hard points go all the way to the other side fiberglass so again it's just going to make it more rigid and uh, better to support the hinges. Okay so I've now cleaned up the wheel well <clears throat> and cut out. Uh, oh by the way I did put flox corners at every place that you see a 90 degree angle here with a fiberglass meat. There's flox corner there which makes it good and solid. Oh uh, this is a uh, paint stirring stick and uh, I got this idea off of the internet somebody had uh, done this and actually this is probably one of the uh, sanding sticks that I use the very most just because it's so convenient it's small it gets into all kind of different uh, crevices and stuff basically all you do is spray a little adhesive on your stick put your uh, sandpaper on there cut it off and you're good to go so anyway move it along um, so I'm gonna uh, disassemble the lay up here after I cut it out and then uh, we'll see what we look like.
Okay, and so here's what it looks like uh, after I've got it sanded and fit in the slot. So next we need to uh, install the hinges. I'm thinking I'm going to install the hinges on this uh, first to serve as a guide and then uh, go from there. We'll see how it works out. Okay, what I've done now is uh, I've cut out the little slots here for the hinges. As you can see there. And now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to hot glue these hinges in and do some trial fits. Make sure everything's nice and straight. I'm just using this as a straight edge here, but uh, make sure everything's good, nice and straight, and then uh, do a bunch of trial fits until we get it just right. And uh, then we'll go from there. I am going to have to uh, split the um, hinge door at some point. So we'll go from let's just go from here figure it out from as we go okay now that I've cut it into halves what I'm going to do is tape it back together that way I'll have access to the inside once I temporarily uh, fasten the hinges we'll see how this works I don't know anyway I'm just gonna finish taping this up okay so now I've got the door fit it's split and so what I'm gonna do uh, well you can see that I've got it fit like I want I've got a slight like a sixteenth gap right here for when the door closes and I'll put a little lip over that later on so right now all I'm going to do is temporarily attach these hinges because these hinges are not set yet and I'll just get a small dab of epoxy a little five minute and put on this hinge inside one little dab on each side and that'll secure it enough so that I can drill it and then um, I can put in a click up okay I've uh, drilled them I'm going to put a little click in there to temporarily hold them okay yeah. now I know everything is fit perfect with that hinge uh, so I'm going to do the other side I'm also drilling uh, some pilot holes with this 1 16th inch bit and uh, I've marked the location I want three attachments or three fasteners on this hinge and two on the other and uh, so I'm just going to do this just to score the hinge so I'll know where to drill it okay I've now permanently floxed in the uh, gear door hinges to the fuselage okay this is the first trial fit of the gear doors actually fit pretty good gears retracted and I have plenty of room in there for the uh, tire looks like I've got about oh maybe half an inch between the tire and the gear door and maybe a quarter between this little front plate here and the gear door okay this is trial operation of my gear door
Great guys, it's cold in Louisiana today, but uh, anyway, I worked half a day, came in, started working on the Cozy. I've been working on this uh, gear door that you see right here, and I finally got this thing figured out. Um, basically, I've, I've got it temporarily in with Clecos. Now, I do have the uh, hinges flocked in down here, but everything else is basically in temporarily, and it actually works. Uh, it took me a couple of days of finagling with it, back and forth, trying different things. But um, got the spring, and then I also have the music wire that you see right here. There's a lot of little key features about making this gear, gear door work. And number one is you need to make sure that you, this this uh, music wire not only goes through your hinge, this little hinge here, but also it has a contact point down here, and that keeps the lateral stability in your. Uh, in your door hinge. Also, um, you'll need to make sure that you have this spring in the proper place. And basically, it's just trial and error. Um, you can kind of get a pretty good idea because you know it's got to contact right here, somewhere in this area, whenever the gear goes down. So, what I did was just use uh, Clecos. I drilled several different holes on each side and uh, tried different positions until I found basically the sweet spot. Uh, and then I put in the music wire today, uh, been it, and basically this is the shape of my music wire as you can see right here. And after going back and forth several different times with different configurations, the doors actually work and they work very good. Uh, I was about to give up on it. I was thinking I was never going to get this thing to work. But uh, let me see if I can uh, demonstrate it here with one hand and holding the camera. Hang on just a second. Okay, so here's the gear coming down. It contacts the spring. Pull these door handles, uh, the door down. And there you go. Gear coming up. It comes up like that. Okay, one more time, gear coming down, you can see where the spring contacts your fork right there, gear coming down slowly just to show you, and it closes, and it actually closes nice and tight. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to check it for I read in the forums where there's some instability with crosswinds. Um, so I have figured out a way, figured out a way to check this thing. And actually, this is pretty dang stable. You can see me move it, move a little bit, but I don't think that's going to ever close. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, my leaf blower and I'm going to see what happens. So let's take a look at that. All right, let's see what happens. Alright guys, there you saw it. Uh, There's very minimal movement with say, what, 100 mile an hour, 75, 100 mile an hour wind, crosswind component uh, with the blower. So, I just don't think that's going to go anywhere. It'll move back and forth. Both, both doors will move back and forth. Looks like about half an inch. 
but that's nowhere going to bother the uh, closing of the door. Of the, the it's not going to impinge on the uh, wheel retraction. So now that I have the gear doors cut and uh, I know I've got them functioning, what I'm going to do now is uh, apply some blue foam to the inside, glass over that, and uh, just to give it two plies of fiberglass make it stiffer. Okay, and so this is the inside layer of bi-directional. There's three layers, and I also added a very thin layer of foam, uh, blue foam. And it's probably about three sixteenths of an inch thick, and that will just add some rigidity to it. So what I'll do is, uh, after this dries, I'll cut it down the middle and reinstall it. Okay, guys, working on this cozy uh, front gear door, <coughs> and uh, I basically have completed it, other than just installing my permanent hardware. I've got it in with Clecos now. I have uh, made two plies or two layers of fiberglass with a little bit of uh, foam sandwich in between there. It makes it really stiff. So this is basically the final product other than um, putting the final hardware on there. So works really, really nice. So gears coming down. I'm going real slow so you guys can see it work. There you go. Nice decent seams center of it okay and as we come up your doors coming up and that's basically what you see here's just an edge view of the doors you can see kind of how thick they are So I'm confident this is going to be fine. Uh, I've actually, uh, like I showed you earlier, I took the uh, leaf blower and simulated a crosswind and they did not close at all. So one more time, closing, going real slow. Nice and tight. Okay guys, moving on with my cozy build. Hope this helps you. Stay tuned. And uh, hey, subscribe up here, top right, if you want to see any more cozy videos.